Welcome everybody, welcome back to Homestead Heart. Me and Tamu, <laughs> we're gonna harvest some corn. Now, I've already started harvesting the corn actually, okay? But, I figured I better show y'all, show y'all what I'm doing over here this morning. Now, the corn looks good. However, if I'm not mistaken, the corn stalks were supposed to produce at least two stalks. Uh, I'm sorry. They were supposed to produce at least two ears of corn per stalk, okay? And that did not happen. I think I'm getting the majority only has one ear. Now, we, are, we do have different uh, corn issues. You know, I, I haven't seen any earworms yet, but we have seen some other issues, so... I'm going to take y'all over here and show you. We've already harvested a big row and a half so far. And we're going to move on to the last and final row of corn. And so far the harvest looks really good. So y'all stick around. All right, you all. So as you can see, we've already harvested this row. Now, some of the issues that I noticed with our corn was the, um, the mold that blue mold that shows up on some of the ears of corn I don't see it I, I did see it <laughs> but we have been harvesting so we've ended up just kind of getting rid of it but for the most part we did have a lot of these little bugs and I wasn't sure what they were and so I wanted to run and get the camera okay now I don't know if you can see that, but that's some other kind of pest mixed in with ants. It could just be um, aphids of some sort, but they're all up over the corn. They're all over the corn, on some of them, that is. But for the most part, the majority of the corn looked really, really good. The majority of it looked really, really good, including these right here and I'm keeping them separate because I want to make sure that I taste each variety I don't want to get them mixed up I want to know what it is that I'm eating so this is the last row of corn right here that has to be harvested and um, what I'm going to go ahead and do is just get to it okay so so far so good so this corn right here came from this row. Yeah. And then I have more corn over there. So I'll be taking you all along and showing you. And the corn that was just not good, it was bad. Oh. I just took it over and gave it to the chicken. So I'm going to wrap up this row right here, y'all. And I'll take y'all along. All right, so I don't know if y'all can see these little bugs in here. They're not ants. I don't know what they are. I haven't gotten that good with my bug identification, but those are the bugs that are all over the corn. So I'm just gonna go through now and just start harvesting these corn and because it is so many ants all over them I'm knocking the stalks down as I go because I don't want ants all over my shirt just taking them off as I go now this one did have two ears on it that was good man it's a lot of okay a lot of ants on there Put that one down. This one is covered in ants as well, you guys. I got a bucket full of ants. Okay, so I'm going to show you that mold that I was telling you about. On this corn right here. See that? Yeah, we didn't experience a lot of that. We found it on about three or four 
ears of our corn. So that was pretty good, I would say. Just three or four ears experienced it. Some of the ears are very small. And some are really big. But I can't say that I'm not happy with the corn. The only thing I can say is that I wish I could have got two ears from each stalk. Yeah. The majority of the ears are about that size, which is a really good size for corn, for sweet corn, in my opinion. Cover it with ants. Some of them didn't do so good because this is what we got from them. Now I'm going to open this up and I'm going to show you these little bugs on the inside. Oh man, he fell. Cute little ear corn though. Oh, poor toddler. <laughs> that all over my corn See that? That's what's all over the corn. Wow, one that had two on it. What a nice surprise. <laughs> All right, that's all the corn from this row in this basket right here. Okay. Okay, that's it. Woo, y'all. <laughs> okay, you all, so as you can see, the corn harvest was okay. We have from these three rows, I have um, this basket from one row, these two baskets.
from the center row and no these two baskets from the first row this basket this bucket from the center and this from the third and final row so I'm not greatly disappointed. Actually, I'm not disappointed at all. I'm, I have, I'm not disappointed. Let me correct myself. I'm not disappointed. I'm very happy that we were able to harvest the corn that we did. So again, I'm very, very happy with the corn that we have, you know, as I self-correct myself, self-correct self. So I'm very, very happy with what we have but I made some mistakes in my calculations here. Although the package says one to two ears of corn per stalk, instead of me anticipating getting two ears of corn per stalk, I should not have done that. I should have just anticipated one ear of corn per stalk, right? And if I needed 500, ears of corn I should have planted 500 seeds however however I should account for pest um, disease I should account for that so I probably need to increase that by 25 percent or so so I'll know uh, going forward you know God willing next season I will account for this okay and that way I'll get the corn that I would like to get. Now, we still have corn in our other garden. We still have corn over here that's coming up too. So I'm not disappointed, but I have learned lesson, a lesson. So lesson learned, you know, I know going forward that that's what I should anticipate. That's what I should expect. So I should plan ahead. So. I'm not disappointed because the corn stalks are nice size. You know, we've seen pest, we've seen the disease, the mold. We've seen that, right? We've seen it. I'm not sure if we have a, a, a corn earworm problem because we have not really peeled into it, but the size of the corn is good. I'm not disappointed with that. And if I just grab one and start peeling into it, no earworms, but there was a pollination issue here. But that's not a problem. We'll just chop that off. <laughs> Keep on going. Yeah. Y'all, we let this corn sit on there too long. We should have been got this corn off of there. Yeah, look at that. So I know we're gonna find some issues with this corn, you know? I know we're gonna find some issues with it, but we're gonna work around those issues. Lesson learned. We got so busy that the corn stayed on the stalks, you know, just maybe a week or so longer than they actually should have. So, no matter what, we can't let that happen again, right? So, we have uh, we've shown you the good, the bad, and we've shown you some ugly corn. <laughs> and I just wanted to take you along and show you all, you know, we have learned some things with um, this first batch of corn here. So, I'm going to go ahead and get this corn inside and start processing it. Some will freeze, some I will can. Some will just eat. It just depends. We'll see. But y'all, that's going to do it for today. Thank you so much. If you enjoyed this video, then please give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss a single video that we upload to our channel. So thank you all so much again for watching Homestead Heart. Peace and blessings to each and every one of you. And I will see you in the next